It's sunny. Oh, no, no, it's snowy. Uh, No, it's that time between winter and spring that just can't make up its mind. We're celebrating it today on At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Chad and I are in the mountains outside of Colorado Springs riding ATVs through a world where the weather doesn't know what it's doing. But our trail guides do. Finally, where can you go to ride motocross? Well, there's a new slash old venue coming your way, and we'll have all the details right now on AYL. I love the transition between winter and spring. Don't you know it? It is so perfect. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure Today. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Rhea Rossi, and Chad and I are here just outside of Woodland Park, Colorado, and we're at Rainbow Falls, and this we're in the Pikes National Forest, and I am telling you, we are having so much fun today. It's beautiful up here today. It is indeed. In fact, we are uh, traveling with two clubs, We've got uh, representatives from the State Parks Division that handles the OHV program. We're going to talk to them a little bit later in the show. And we've got people from a group called Stay the Trail. They're kind of like um, uh, Tread Lightly in Utah. Right. And so we are going to go out with them and discover this beautiful country. And I mean, it's such a perfect day. The sun is shining and it's warm, but there's still snow on the ground. I know. The beautiful, clear mountain streams Get and the nice pines are so healthy. With all that white snow, look like skiers. Yeah, it's gorgeous up here. Today we're down at Rainbow Falls, which is just outside of Woodland Park. Uh, we think we did some uh, somewhere close to uh, about 70 miles of riding today. Uh, out uh, throughout the entire system. This is the first time I've ATV'd in snow and it's a blast. <laughs> really? Yeah. We're riding all over Rampart Range and we have approximately 700 miles of trails in this system here. And all of them are not open because of seasonal closures right now, but we had a really good time doing some activities today up in the mountains and playing on our ATVs. <laughs> We'd like to introduce you to Warren Wells. He is the chapter president of the Colorado Springs chapter of the Colorado Quad Runners. And how often do you get out on this on these trails? Do you guys have scheduled rides? Or? Our club tries to schedule a ride at least once a month from April through September or so. There's a lot of day trips in between that and there's a few of us that try and ride at least a couple times a month all year round. You know, if you come to Colorado, you expect to see mountains and snow and we're getting it today. Just a couple of weeks ago, we were 84, 86 degrees and record-breaking highs, but we're okay with it. We gear up and we ride. Conditions started out really clear, bright blue skies, a little bit of snow on the ground from last night. Then uh, around four o'clock, the clouds rolled in and we started getting some pretty heavy uh, snowfall. Big change from uh, a couple weekends ago where I was riding out in the desert, uh, completely open space and just pure sand. Uh, here we've got rocks, trees, and mud. Uh, definitely a completely different terrain within only a couple hours away from each other. Getting up on the trail systems is really the only way to experience just how much beauty this has to offer. Where's Steven? You know what? He's on a travel adventure. Not bad driving, Rossi. Welcome back. Oh, look at the sign. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We got to stop and look at that for a second. <laughs> we are in Pikes Forest, the national forest, riding today. And of course, when we ride two up, only to be fair, Rhea's got to have a chance to drive. Scares the crap out of me, but he got to have a chance to drive. Yeah, he holds on tight. Woo! <laughs> and we're, we're riding with Mark Kite from Sun Enterprises. You look like you've ridden hard today, Mark. I've ridden, I've ridden hard today, yeah. We had a, we had a great day with uh, everybody here, and it's just been phenomenal. The weather's beautiful and just, you know, beautiful Colorado country, and it's been a great day with you guys, absolutely. Well, listen, thanks for coming out with us today. Right now, we want to change our attention. You know, off to our side is a sign that says Multiple Use Trail. And many lands are managed for many public uses. And that means that lots of get, different people get to use the trails. Um. 
Colorado is no different than any other state. We have over 200,000 people in this state who actively enjoy outdoor recreation on motorized OHVs, and maybe 10% of that group even has a clue on how threatened our land is. So it's all about awareness. We need a large number of those 200,000 people to understand what's going on and take action to keep our public lands open. The State Trail Program is a Colorado-based program. We're a nonprofit 501c3 with the main goal of going out and uh, basically keeping these trails open, these beautiful trails here in Colorado open through education and teaching of ethics and items like that. Our adversaries watch every minute on what's happening and if we don't treat the trails with respect, they absolutely will use it against us and rightfully so. We need to honor and take care of our public lands. We have a right to ride on them, but we need to take care of them. So the idea is ride where you can right. and hike where you can't. You bet. Stay the trail and just hike around if you can. It's just magnificent up here. It is so beautiful. Colorado's got so much public ground that people can enjoy. And what's nice about using an ATV is you can see so much scenery. The ATV gives you a very thrilling experience. As I get older, it may be the only way that I can get out to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, many with, uh, with disabilities enjoy our Colorado Rockies and they couldn't do it any other way unless they had an ATV. Well, right now it's time for us to go on to our trailhead adventure. You know, over uh, Rhea's shoulder there's multiple... <laughs> ah! Multiple use bombardment! <laughs> oh my God, these guys are ruthless! <laughs> Oh, Rhea, that was just a ton of fun today. Oh my gosh, we quit just on time as the snow starts to come in. Well, you know, <laughs> 60 one day, 80 the next, 10 the day after that, and snow. No, it really was a great show. Listen, we want to thank all the people from the clubs, from Sun Enterprises, from the different organizations from the state, and we want to thank you for joining us on this episode of At Your Leisure. Oh, it was great. Thanks so much. You want to find out more about how to come here and ride some of these hills? pick a sun of your day, but uh, we would invite you to do so. Go to our website, AYLTV.com. We'd love to hear your comments on our show. Go to our Facebook page, uh, At Your Leisure TV. Until the next time. Make sure that you get out with your family and friends. Enjoy the great outdoors at, at your, your leisure. leisure. All right, we need to get this thing packed up. Bye-bye. <laughs> it is a look uh, at the Go Trailhead Adventure. No, he's not. He's in a travel, a travel head adventure. You're a travel head adventure? Tra he's a travel You travel head. head or trail head? He's a travel. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it. You're going to want to share it. And you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel because At Your Leisure is awesome. And uh, we'll see you here for more videos.